a man soon to be king. But this future monarch is promising a more laid-back style than his predecessor. And that begins with what he'll be called. In an interview ahead of his inauguration to the Dutch throne, he said people can address him however they choose, and he explained why he would not be taking the name Willem IV. First, is my name Willem Alexander, and it is only one name, and I've been here my whole life. Firstly, my name is Willem Alexander. I spent my whole life, 46 years, as Willem Alexander or Alexander. I find it strange to have to abandon that because I'm king. On the other hand, you're not a number. The Dutch crown prince is to replace his mother, Queen Beatrix, who is abdicating on the 30th of April after more than 30 years on the throne. She was the kind of queen who took an active role, with duties like swearing in new cabinet ministers. But there have been calls in the Netherlands for the monarch to stick to ceremonial duties, and the new king-to-be has indicated he would consent to that. As the wetgeving process if the lawmaking process is democratic and constitutional, I'll accept everything. I have no problems with that. That's why I'm king. And if my signature is needed, I will sign. And with a new king will come a new queen, Maxima. His glamorous Argentinian-born wife is the most popular royal in the Netherlands. And her popularity comes in spite of her family background. When she married Prince Willem Alexander back in 2002, her father, Jorge Zorigueta, wasn't on the guest list. That was because of his links to the military dictatorship that ruled Argentina in the late 1970s and early 80s, in which he'd served as an agriculture minister. And he hasn't been invited to this month's inauguration either. Maxima, who's fluent in Dutch, said becoming queen will not change her. I will not act differently, and of course my background is Argentinian. I love to dance, I love music, and I will keep on doing that. But I will stay the same. After being groomed for the role for years, Willem Alexander says he's now confident he's ready to take his mother's place. Susanna Mendanza, BBC News.